Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn about form validation. In the previous video, you learn about form submit, and in here we form we learn about validation. The first one is your validation function. It already have in Laravel. Show error mistakes and also error with every field. So you will see the uh, pop up mistake. What is error? Which will? Yeah. Okay. Let's go together. So in the previous video, we learned about submit the HTML form. And we have uh, plugin form very simple like this. If you uh, do not look about or see about the previous video, you cannot do uh, anything in this video because it continues from uh, submit HTML4 and how to create a simple login page. So please look at the previous video you will understand so now we let continue from the previous videos so in here we have form login like this like for example i just put password one two three and then i click on login and then you will see the data like this here is the token and username and password here so now we put the validation on here. If I put MBT like this, MBT password, MBT username, it will uh, show the error and restrict. You cannot uh, uh, log in. Okay. So in here, if we log in uh, with MBT, it will show now like this. So now we let to put. Uh, validation together so we have lock very simple lock in form in here we have the controller uh, we have function get data like this and we have the row yes we have two row that we have created so now let we put the validation here when we uh, when we create when when we lock in here when we log in here, the action is go to the UL user. You see the UL user in row here, UL user in row, and then it run the function in the controller user controller. So you see here user controller is uh, this function get data. So now I put the validation here. Okay, in the previous, so in here, return, I just want to return uh, input function. Okay, I put validation here. We just write uh, rig. Okay, and then we validation, not validate validate and then we just like this okay and then we put the field you see in here we click on this you see the parameter you see the the, the key here user username it came from the the login form here you see here names so it will show in here username and password so we want to validate here we go to here we put we validate on username so we put the validate require we cannot you cannot mbt user names just put like this and i refresh the page again and i click on it so you cannot log in but it did not show any error 
so I want to show any error I go back here and I go to log forms I just write like this and then use errors then I refresh it again so I click on it so it will show error in here the username field is required so I want to show also password so we go to controller again and we put sorry, here username three user password so we want to validate okay requires so I just click on this okay you see here user password is required so it's not show the proper the properly error it's not the properly error we want it to show a little bit better than this so we need to go to log info and then we need to show like if sorry if if color errors any so it mean any error we you for each loop we loop the all the errors Error. Errors. All function has. Okay. And then this. So. We show error here. Okay, we save it. Then we refresh it again. Okay, that's fine. It's so better. But I want to, I want to show the error user username below the touch bar uh, here. So let's write. Mm. So I want to delete this and I move to here yes, below the username here. We use spin and then we use add errors. So if error on username it will show the message so message okay save it and refresh it click on it yeah it better so I want to show below the password also and then we I want to make it better just copy it and then I use and here and then we just use a Password, yes. Save it. Sorry, this shape. And then we refresh it again. Okay. So you see, yes, it much more better. I want to put it red color. We need to create some styles on Spain. Just styles. 
and color is red okay and here we also put the same save it refresh it yes it's good and we want to create more uh, restriction more validation like uh, we go to controller we put the limit corrector Sorry. We put the limit corrector here okay maximum corrector twice and the password minimum it's uh, twice so let refresh page just type password one two three okay so you see the password user password must be at least five character so it will uh, like okay so I try to use password like this and password one two three four five click on it you see here's the username I put is more than five characters so it become a reality so let's try to put the right ones what time one two three four five twice okay plug in yes that's fine so you can see the we can log in here so if you have any question you can comment to ask me in my video and yes don't forget subscribe on my channel and thank you for watching you will see and understand more about Laravel with the next videos so thank you for watching